Yeah, I know the rest of the world calls it football, but I'm so used to calling it soccer, I'm just gonna stick to that. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm the Average Otaku, and today I wanted to talk about how the World Cup turned the Blue Lock anime into the massive hit it is today. So how did this happen? Well, it all starts with the main theme of Blue Lock. Blue Lock is a soccer manga, and from the very first page, the World Cup is already mentioned. In fact, the whole setup is based around Team Japan being eliminated from the 2018 World Cup. The basic setup being that after Team Japan is eliminated from the World Cup, Japan decides to take drastic measures to create the greatest strikers in the world. They send 300 of the best high school soccer players in Japan to a facility called Blue Lock where they'll compete until only one is left standing. That last remaining player will be able to play on Team Japan's team and be the next great soccer player. This manga started back in 2018, and while that might not seem that long ago, that's five whole years of serialization. The manga was really popular in Japan and was consistently getting good sales. There are a lot of fans of sports, anime, and manga, and Blue Lock was the perfect one for them. It had some really nice and clean art, and there's so many hype moments. And while some of the players' moves and abilities were greatly exaggerated, they were still technically possible. Like I described in one of my previous videos, it's essentially soccer on steroids. And while sports manga is pretty popular, there weren't that many big ones being published at the time, with Haikyuu being the biggest one by far. Haikyuu was massively popular, and when it ended in 2020, fans were looking for a new sports manga to get into, and Blue Lock was perfect for them. This was the first instance of perfect timing for Blue Lock, as it became the big sports manga to get into. With Haikyuu done, all eyes were on it, and it did not disappoint. And naturally, with its popularity, it wasn't long before it was picked up for an anime adaptation. It got slated for a fall 2022 release just months before the World Cup in Qatar started. Luckily, Team Japan actually qualified for the World Cup and were hoping to make it pretty far. They even decided to brace their otaku culture by unveiling Blue Lock-inspired kits. Honestly, it was pretty cool to see, and I really hope they do more stuff like this in the future. Anyways, naturally with the popularity of the World Cup, the overall interest in soccer increased across the world. I mean, this is an event that happens once every four years where countries get to compete to see who's the best at soccer. There's a lot of hype globally as different fans from other countries get to support their team and see if they can prove they're the best. With over 1.5 billion viewers, it's easily the most watched sporting event in the world. And with an increased interest in soccer, there is an increased interest in other soccer related things like Blue Lock. Fans couldn't get enough soccer content and with the soccer anime airing at the exact same time, it was the perfect show to watch. And then something crazy happened. So Team Japan was put into an extremely hard group stage that includes Spain, Germany, and Costa Rica. These were all really good teams, teams Germany and Spain especially. Team Germany won the World Cup back in 2014 and would normally place in the top three in every World Cup. Team Spain was also really good and had a really strong soccer culture that led them to creating some of the best teams and players in the world. Since only the top two teams in each group advance, Japan realistically had no chance of making it. But then in their first match, they beat Team Germany, and two matches later, they beat Team Spain. Nobody expected this to happen, and the whole world was shocked. All eyes were on Team Japan. I mean, who doesn't love an underdog story? They were proving that they could compete with the best and were impressing everyone. I mean, they forced Team Germany to have an early exit. This was a team that many people thought could genuinely win it all. And with something this big happening, memes were bound to be created. At first it started with your typical anime edits, like people were comparing the Team Japan players to OP anime characters and making edits based off that. But eventually a new meme started about the blue lock being real. It was honestly the perfect setup, since the manga is about creating some of the best players in Japan so they could compete in the World Cup, the real life team suddenly becoming really successful was a really funny coincidence. So now people were talking about the blue lock being real, and the meme was spreading really fast across the manga and anime communities. It was the most talked about thing on anime and manga, reddit, and twitter, and everyone was loving the blue lock content. With everyone talking about it, people had to go check out the anime to see what it was about. And in Japan, people were really happy with their team's success and Blue Lock started to take advantage by doing heavy advertising. There was a lot of promotion and advertising in places in Japan like Akihabara where you'd see posters, merchandise, and billboards. Viewership of Blue Lock increased as it skyrocketed to become one of the most watched anime of the season with the likes of My Hero Academia, Chainsaw Man, and Spy Family Part 2. It even had more viewers than the new season of Bleach, according to my anime list. And if you look at Google Trends, you can see that the interest in Blue Lock peaked at the same time that the World Cup's interest did. And the one big difference is, is that after the interest in the World Cup peak, it plummeted, while Blue Lock had consistent interest even after its peak. 
And that's because while the World Cup ended, Blue Lock was still airing. It made the smart decision to have a 24 episode season instead of a 12 episode one. So even though the World Cup was over, all these people that had picked up Blue Lock because of it still had more of the show to watch. And definitely give the anime credit, it was really solid and highly rated. So all the people that ended up checking out the anime were pretty satisfied and would tune in for every new episode. Even right now, it's still getting the same viewership and is as relevant as ever. And that's the thing, it would have still gotten the same rating no matter what season it aired, but that doesn't always translate to views. There are many instances of highly rated anime not being near the top of the most watched anime of their season. But Blue Lock managed to go from what would have been an under the radar sports anime to a mega hit. And that's all thanks to the hype around the World Cup and Team Japan's success. And the most ironic thing is, is that even though Team Japan looked amazing and did pretty successful, they still ended up getting eliminated in the round of 16, just like in the manga. So maybe a blue lock might still actually be needed. Well, that's pretty much it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've seen blue lock, please comment below what you think of it. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you and bye.